Today we're going to take a look at one of the many kits that promises to take your old bike and by adding a few additional parts, convert it into your very own power assisted e-bike. Why would you want to do this? Well, there are many reasons and for many people an e-bike represents a way for keeping them riding for longer than they could. There is one thing that does get in the way for most people of riding an e-bike and that is the cost. With a good e-bike starting from upwards of a thousand pounds and many costing way more than that, a conversion kit is a really good way and a really good value way of seeing if e-power is for you. So today I've got my old Genesis Equilibrium here. I've just pulled it out of the shed so it's a bit dusty, a bit, bit dirty. I've not used it for a while and I really want to get using it again. And I've got a conversion kit by a company called Switch. So this is their universal kit and it costs around about £322 on Indiegogo. So they've sold a lot of them so far and we're going to see exactly what you get in the kit and how to fit it. So let's see what we get in the box with the Switch Universal system. So Switch uses a front wheel, so it's a wheel-based system. So you've got a replacement wheel here. So that is your standard wheel and the motor system in the hub body here. So there's a cable as well that you need to connect everything up. So we've got that. There's already got some rim tape on, so that's good. So all we need to do is swap tire and tube over on our normal wheel to get this up and running. So this is the heart of the system. So this is the battery and the control panel as well. So this is going to attach to your handlebars using a bracket and then that is going to be your power source. This is your bracket. So there's a nice handy little cover here. So take that off and that's what it plugs into. So this goes around your handlebars. There's also your charger, obviously that's important. Then the all important magnet. So this is going to go around the bottom bracket area of your bike and this will be what senses when you're pedaling so it will give you the power. Now the other good thing with the switch system and the one thing you need to be aware of is obviously it needs to be legal. So in the UK and the EU we have a requirement of a motor of no more than 250 watts of power and it has to be restricted so it needs to be restricted to 15 miles an hour of pedal assistance and that's exactly what the switch system is so got all the parts let's go ahead and swap the bike so first thing we're going to do is to swap the wheel over so just going to take off my old wheel and we're going to use the same tire and tube as well to keep things as consistent as it can be so it's going to be cabled to the left hand fork leg. So we need to keep this side to the left hand fork leg, okay? So that's the main thing you need to remember. Front wheels in. Now we need to put the bracket on the handlebars as well. So this will be the bracket that holds the control unit and the battery. So it should be really simple. We have this strap here goes underneath the stem to stop it from rotating around. And we have some smaller handlebar adapters. So if you have smaller handlebars, then you can use those. So just put the here battery pack on the handlebar bracket. So it's nice and solid, but we can adjust the angle in a bit anyway. Um, at the back then on the adapter, there are a few different sockets. So the first, the most obvious one is the thickest one here is the main power cable that will go down to the hub. So this is the one that will connect first and then obviously this needs to be sort of um, put in a position where it's not in the way. There are then some orange ones and some blue ones here as well. So the blue ones are for a brake sensor that you can potentially get. It doesn't come in the kit though. The orange, so what you've got here is, I told you about the uh, the magnet goes around the cranks well, the cable that goes with it is orange, so this is what will connect into this plug here. But we'll do that in a second. The way you turn these things on is you press the on button, but then you have to press this circle, that's the display button here, and hold that and then the whole screen comes on. And then obviously the plus and minus goes through the power cycles. And so now what we need to do is connect the magnet that goes around the crank that will determine when it works.
we're pretty much ready to go. So I think there's only one thing left to do, take it outside, give it a test ride. Okay, so we're now outside with the bike. And just as a little recap, we'll just go through what we've done. So obviously the switch system that we've put on here is based around the front wheel. So we had to replace that front wheel. This then attaches to the battery and control unit. The observant amongst you will notice that this is slightly different to the one you saw in the workshop. So there's been a couple of weeks since we did that. And since then, Switch has actually sent us the brand new updated battery and control unit. It's much simpler to use, smaller, neater, and more compact. So we've got that fitted, that fits to the bracket. And then there's a wire system that goes down to a sensor on the bottom bracket, which controls how much power is delivered to the front wheel when you're pedaling. So as we said, the switch system costs around about 350 pounds for the whole unit, which is a very reasonable amount to actually convert your bike into an e-bike. Now, it doesn't feel exactly the same as a full dedicated e-bike system because there's not as much power delivery and the battery is quite small. So range-wise can be a bit limited on this, but for a commute or for just a, a leisure use, it's pretty damn good for that point of view. It uses the bottom bracket sensor to detect when you're pedaling and then that applies the power. There's five different power modes on here and they, there is differences between them and it's noticeable, but I obviously, same as most people, put it in the top setting and then sort of see how fast you can go with that. So it delivers the power quite sporadically at times. Obviously it's down to your cadence. So one thing with this e-bike system, you need to be spinning rather than like trying to push your gear as you would do on the normal bike but it works really, really well. And I've had not, not had any problems at all so far with it. So it's a much simpler system to actually control now rather than the old system. So rather than the convoluted press, different buttons multiple times to turn everything on, it's now just a simple button to turn on. And that tells you the, the battery life and then press up and down to go through your power settings. So really easy to use when you're on the ride. And obviously it's lit so you can use it at night as well. So really simple. Click it back in place and you're good to go. Okay, so obviously it's not going to be exactly the same as a dedicated e-bike. You are adapting a system and it does use a much limited power supply as well. So there is a difference to that, but then the difference in price is quite significant. It's only recently that e-bikes have come down below that magic thousand pound mark. Um, but this again is only 350 pounds for the whole unit. So if you just want to try an e-bike before you actually commit in that massive investment. This is a great way to do it. There are obviously other different systems on the market, but this certainly seems to be one of the simplest to fit and the simplest to actually use as well. So I've been really enjoying it as it is at the moment. There you have it. So a simple guide to converting your normal bike into an e-bike, just in case you are curious about it and you want to give it a go. This is the switch system and it works very, very well. And there you have it. Well, thanks for watching. And obviously if you've got any comments about converting bikes to e-bikes or e-bikes in general, please put it in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with our latest releases and click on that notification button as well to make sure that you're first to see them when the new releases come out. Till then, I'm going to go for a little spin. Wheel nuts here that we need to tighten up. So we rather than use quick Woo! <laughs>